All right, and we got our free perk, boom, gallant. The last perk in every tree is always getting a, a lifestyle trait that sticks with you and it's strong. Two martial, four prowess, 20% more monthly prestige, and 20 attraction opinion. Attraction opinion raises the opinion of everybody who is into your gender. So we're a man, so everyone who's attracted to men will like us more by 20. Considering all the other traits we already have, um, the ladies like us and the gay men. People in general really, really, really like us. We have a marshal at 25 now. In fact, if we go back on this chart, how far up are we on the best marshals in the world? We are just a little bit off of page one. There's a lot of 26s here. We're in the 25s down here. We're right here. You. Check that out. 32 years old and we are the overall most talented human on Earth. Giga Chad prowess. Yeah. We're pretty fucking good. Now, mind you, we started with a very good leader. That's our whole thing is we start in not a great position. A potentially strong position, but not an immediately strong position. But we're an incredibly talented individual with a lot of potential. Okay. Um, one of our many, many daughters needs an education. So she's robust, which is a great trait. She's more attractive, healthier, better in a fight. She's curious, so learning or diplomat. Um, let's go with learning. She can learn from our court physician. He's very intelligent. And I think I'm ready to ask for some money. We can spend that now. How fair is the king's health? We are quite healthy. There we go. Got a quick 100 bucks from the Pope. It's had to spend some piety to do it, but that's okay. Oh, hey, look, there's a lunatic in our court. <laughs> Eight learning already, yeah. She's just a kid, too. Eight's not bad. Any wars right now? Not currently. There hasn't been a war in a little while. Um, I think the Vikings are kind of settling in. They've got numbers, though. Look at that, 5,000. That's with their alliances, mind you. I've got some very powerful alliances myself. If we look at my alliances, I got 7,000 troops backing me up. But that's only if they join in. They're very likely to join in and back us up in a defensive war. In an offensive war, not as much. Lunatics can be fun to play as. That is true. They have a lot of uh, very funny... Um, they have a lot of very funny events. Ah. Uh, Reeve... I, I'm going to call him uh, Gamel because that's his last name and we have two Reeves. Our spy master, Gamel, uh, he thinks there's no more secrets to be found in the Pope's court. Damn, I was hoping we could find something on the Pope himself. Okay. Um, find secrets in the Viking lands again. I just want to see if we can catch him on anything. Going negative in any of the currencies hell to get back to something normal. He... It was like that in Crusader Kings 2 for sure. Going into negatives, you could get a lot of negative uh, debuffs on counties that were quite hard to get rid of. I don't know about now though. Okay, we just picked up the trait. I think it's time we finally switch away. But first, Natural Dread 15 is really solid. Yeah, serve the crown. That'll just the few people who still don't like us will be that little bit more afraid of us at least. We found a lot of secrets, just not from anyone big. Okay, stewardship it is. Now, which focus do I want to go right now? Duty, um, agent acceptance. That would be nice. Stewardship up just a little. Cortares and guests like us more, but they already like us so much. I might go domain just for straight stewardship. Income up 10% is actually kind of weak for me on wealth focus. Because honestly, like 10% is so little for us right now. I'd rather just take the stewardship... Yeah, I'm going to go domain focus. My lands and people under my care are my strength. Now, we don't learn this as fast as we learned martial traits, but we still have a 20% bonus because of, an, of intellect. 
or intelligent rather. So we get a perk about every three years right now, which is still very fast. And our first one we're taking, oh man, is Golden Obligations, one of the best perks in the game. You can demand payments for hooks, of which we have many and they're easy to get. Taxman's not bad either, collect tax effectiveness up. There's a lot of very good stuff in these stewardship trees. It's one of the better, uh, there's some of the better trees if you ask me. Yeah, right now we're kind of holding on to money. We're being very frugal because we need mercenary money. But you notice how wars aren't getting declared much on us now? It's because we have such powerful alliances that they're actually kind of afraid of me getting dragged into a fight. Despite just being a duke, we have serious power entirely based on our marriages. We've managed to marry up so heavily into big Catholic kingdoms that we have the weight of powerful alliances behind us. And that's, that's what our diplomacy managed to get us. Powerful alliances. We punch above our weight. Commander promoted. He may not be of a noble stock as you, my liege, but I swear on the name of... Borthelm is someone you want on your side. So this guy's name is, uh... Borthelm Kill. He's a treacherous villain who's wrathful and sadistic. Uh, he's a good fighter, though. And he's very good in combat. Just that, like, Marshal? He will serve me. Mostly as a knight. His life is expendable to me. Well, he would be a more talented Marshal, though. You know what? No, he's a better Marshal. Why not? We do seriously need a good Marshal. That is a very powerful character, yeah. His surname is literally Kill. That is true. It's spelled slightly different, but... As Balrus trudges out the stable, dragging her legs and hauling her head, there can be no doubt the mare is sick. Fuck! Already? It's been like two years! Sealmaster assures me there's a cure. But for a hefty price. No price is too steep. It's only 15 bucks. Dude, 15 bucks to get my horse healthy? Despite our best efforts, I've yet to uncover- Oh, okay. He just didn't find secrets. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. For a second, I thought he was coming to tell me that the horse died. Oh, oh. Uh, this is something that I updated you guys on off-air last week because I didn't want to talk about it on-air. Like, I didn't want to talk about it in the video because I don't want to bum people out. Someone asked me how my day was, and I, I said it, it wasn't going great, because I we just got the news that one of my sister's cats, one of her very young cats, who used to be a feral cat, actually, who's surprisingly actually domesticating, uh, she took her in, and uh, her name's Ruby, and she fell off, like, a six-story apartment building onto concrete. And she survived somehow. But they thought they were going to have to amputate a leg. A cat any older than two would have died from this. The surgeon took a look at her, they think that she's going to make a full recovery. They don't absolutely 100% know for sure. However, the surgeon took a look at the leg and, and decided, you know what? It, they thought that the leg detached on the inside. It looks like it's actually just broken. And they believe that it's going to need to be in a splint for an entire month. And they need to be careful to keep the cat from walking much. But they think that Ruby could make a complete recovery. I, I only wanted to update you guys on the videos if I had good news, because I don't want to bum you guys out for that. I know no one came to the Crusader Kings 3 playthrough to hear about my sister's cats, but I know some of you guys were genuinely really worried about that. So I just wanted to let you know that Ruby will probably be okay. And before anyone wants to do the, the very nice thing, but the completely needless thing of sending money for, like, vet bills or anything, don't worry, I'm completely handling it. Don't, don't worry about that. It, it wasn't, like, negligence or, like, anything, and obviously it's not the cat's fault. The cat made the slightest of misstep. It was a total accident on every person's part. My, my sister is a wonderful cat owner. It was a freak thing. It was honestly a complete freak incident. And that cat is just the luckiest motherfucker in the world. Whew. So yeah, just wanted to let you know, Ruby's gonna be okay. And Millie, my mom's cat, has survived cancer.
by the way. I forgot to update you on that. I haven't even told you about the most recent time the cancer came back. She is now six Millie has now successfully, as like a five or six year old cat, fully survived and recovered from cancer three times. Three times. Freak of nature. Millie is invincible. It's unbelievable. So yeah. <laughs> All right. Crop fields are getting close to finish. Prowess bonus, nice. You know what? Oh, designate another heir or another education on Gaia Lancer, um, who's intelligent and rowdy. Getting rowdy. Got to do some things. Got to do some things. Oh, our ex-wife can educate her. No way that'll go wrong. Well, she does actually really like us. There. Did anybody in the chat get my reference I just made, by the way? I'm, I'm sure if Retro's here, he got it. Educator yourself? No reason. It'll just give me negative traits. Okay. Uh, I might actually declare a war. Because we are in such a good position. Like, my personal troops aren't great. But, uh, wait, what reference? I, uh, it, it was, uh, getting rowdy, gotta move some things, gotta move some things. <laughs> Look, the, the sheer fact that I said, it's a reference, and then I said, Retro would get it, immediately tells you it's wrestling. Because Retro always gets the wrestling references. And plus, when is it not wrestling with me? Balius, trusty mare. A renowned trainer has approached me after hearing rumors of my mighty mare, Balius, and offers his services. All I ask in return is small compensation. She needs to be stronger, move more swiftly, needs to work on her endurance. I almost thought that was education. She needs fierceness. I'm gonna say... Mm -hmm. Needs to be stronger. Why is Denmark here? Because Denmark's on Earth. Dar Denmark's over here, though. It's right there. Not over here. This is the England. Look at Cornwall. Brittany. Kingdom of Brittany. Catholic. Breton. Uh, needs to be stronger. 15 bucks. That's pretty cheap for us. No, in the corner. Hmm. Norse. Where are you from? Oh, no, it is from Denmark. Fuck. Shit, they got, they got over here again. Hmm. Sorry, I was confused because you said, you said Denmark. And, uh, and it's not called Denmark. But... I mean, it's Denmark. Tutor training instant, uh, and the results could be seen instantly. Money well spent. No immediate effect. Huh. Wonder when the effect's gonna happen. Seems like Brittany's handling it. I think so. Can't join his war because we're not allies. Hmm. Oh, he's losing his war. Oh, he's massively outnumbered. He's got that occupied, but he's still not going to win. He's too outgunned. Yeah, Denmark has also made it to uh, Dublin, right? Oh no, Dublin actually fell to the Isles. Who are also Norse. Wait, wait, wait. I discovered this person, a courtier of the king of who? King of the Scots? Gaelic. Uh, she's a cannibal. Whoa. Cannibal, that's, that's a strong hook, being a cannibal. She's a people eater. I got a lot of fucking hooks. I really need to get that Golden Obligations perk already. We're halfway to it. We're gonna make some fucking money. Expose? Nah, 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 nah. I want the money. 
We're gonna get rich, and then we're gonna have mercenary money for days, and that's gonna be what takes us back the British Isles. We're gonna get rich. Crop fields done in Dorset. Down in Wareham. That's good. That's making us some money. We could upgrade it. That'd bump it up to increasing the holdings tax by 1%, which is cool. That'll that'll be more important later in the game. But also just increasing the amount of money we get out of it from Hamlets. What are what do we want to do with these other three building slots here? Uh, a trade port would be nice. That's money and development growth. Development growth is pretty important. 20 months. I'll dump the money on that. Let's get a trade port built in Wareham. Flexible leader. That's... Ooh, that gets rid of some of the defense advantage in combat. That's really nice. That's a good commander trait. Can't expose the secret you blackmail for. Correct. You get the hook, and then you can sell the... You can basically take a bribe to get rid of the hook. And that's a very good use for it. When are we going to conquer the Isles? <laughs> through, uh, we're going to conquer the Isles through cannibal blackmail? Probably not through cannibal blackmail. Some wars going on. Who's fighting? Earldom of Middlesex? Oh, it's these two earldoms are fighting each other. They're within... They're within Wessex. Wessex here is the kingdom we're a part of. We're Dorset, which is down here. If we click off of that, you can see the breakdown. So all of these red areas that are highlighting, including a, a little bit down here in Netherlands. I like that. Um, this is Wessex. Our brother is the king. We are the Duke or the Earl of Dorset, which is this whole little section. We're the most powerful vassal of our king. So we're kind of second in command in that fashion. You know, we're the most trusted vassal. We're the number one dude. Neighboring ruler lost war. Yep. They're trying to consolidate power. I could declare wars if I want to, although these guys quite like us. First MDB stream. Thanks for coming by. Still need to get rid of the niece, though. No, we don't. That's fine. We'll get control. We can always usurp it at some point. And remember, we get, like, a billion stress if we murder because we have so many traits that are anti-murder. We'll be fine. I'm not worried. We've got a whole playthrough to accomplish things. No need to rush it. Ooh, we learned of a secret lover. Can we get some of Ireland? I'd like to. I'd like to uh, get all the British Isles. All under one banner. Hey, you can ask for more money from the Head of Faith? Mm, not yet, not yet. I want to hang on to some piety. God, we have good bonuses. Oh, alliance expired. Uh, up here, that country exploded. All I have allied to me now is this weaker guy. Yep. And then this one, where there's slightly more troops. Split off. That's fine. We're still powerful. Oh, our king has declared war on someone who's in jail. Out here. Our king is trying to really take up bits of the Netherlands. This is interesting. Long before the Netherlands was really a thing, mind you. It's just owned by some Vikings. Oh, well, we are annihilating them in this war for sure. I have no reason to participate. Our king's got this. Why spend our own money? We're getting very close to that lifestyle trade, everybody. Weak hook on you has expired. Thank God he never ended up cashing it in. 
designate an error for Mr. Freeze? 